Hello, this is David Worms here, and in this video, I wanted to share with you how easy it is to change the header column width in the Beaver Builder theme. Now, we are going to be using or changing a little bit of code in this video, but trust me, it is really simple stuff. And the great thing about it is once you understand it, you will be able to use the same technique on other parts of the theme. Now, I'm lifting a question that came in on the Facebook Beaver Builder group and it was answered beautifully. And the scenario was that they had, let me just look in the customizer here, a header right setup with the uh, menu items in here. And perhaps, I don't know, they may have had a fixed header. Fixed header is the thing that appears when we scroll down. And uh, menu items were dropping underneath each other here. And the reason for that is that by default, the header right section is set to about 66% over here. And we needed to adjust this to make room for these menu items. So that's what we're gonna do in this scenario. So the first thing to know is that the Beaver Builder theme is based around the bootstrap grid system. So it's used in the bootstrap CSS system that works to give responsive layouts very quickly and how it works is that within a set container area uh, we have 12 columns across here and we can then apply these sort of span classes uh, to set up different configurations so in the case of the one where we're looking at where it's 66 percent as i say we would have a span of eight on the right and a span of four on the left and that's what we're changing now the other thing to note on this here which comes from w3c schools is that we use this the md class for desktop and the SM class for tablets, but this will probably make more sense as I go through and show you the files. So I'm working locally, I'm using desktop server to make this site and I'm going to go straight over to my files so you can see them. So here's all my WP files. If I go into WP content and go into the themes folder, you'll see there's both of my theme folders, the parent and the child. So we need to go over to our parent and copy the files that we're going to need. And I know that they're in includes, so let's go there. And I know that we need to select the fixed header. Pretty easy to find, yeah. And we also need the nav rights. So I'm just going to control and C or command C if you're on a Mac and head back to our child theme. And I need to place that in a folder so it's like the parent called includes. So if you don't have one called includes, it won't be there by default, please make one. And then you can paste these copies into here. Okay, so let's start with the first one, the nav right and open this one up. So I'm opening up note plus plus, but you can use any other kind of code editor or even uh, a straightforward text program. Okay, so it's pretty easy to find here. So on the top here, we've got the header row. And as you can see, MD, which is the desktop. And as we can see, SM, which is 12 for the tablet versions is already set on this first one. As you can see it, in that, it's got the logo. So we know this is the left side and it's echoing the URL. So that's the link that you get with that goes with the logo. And on this right hand side, next beside it, we've got the at navigation sections and as we can see this one's been set to 8 as we expected and this on the mobile is to 12. So we know that also on mobile or tablet views when we were to reduce that we would have 100% on the top for the logo and 100% for the nav so the nav would fall under the logo. So what we're all we're changing here is these and I know because I've done it already that I need to change this 4 to a 2. 3 wouldn't quite do it and we change the right hand side to 10 and that's it all we need to do is save just make sure that we're actually saving to our child theme and we are and get this out of the way and do a refresh and we should see everything has come right now there we are so that's perfect and i'll just do the same again now on the fixed nav so let's just go back to our folders Okay, so this is the fixed nav here, and it's pretty much the same here. We just need to look around here. We can see that the header logo is in there uh, as before, and this one's already set to MD3. Again, I'm going to set this 3 to 2, and make sure that I set this one to 10 to make sure that it's always 12, which it needs to be. That's done that. We'll save that. And... Let's just do another refresh. 
and there we are so everything's as it should be so as i say we can do a lot of things with this and i'm going to cover this in another video but just very quickly i'll just show you another arrangement if we go over to customizer and i set this one to the nav bottom in this one we get the nav right under the bottom and as you can see i've already done i've done this previously on a, another video using the top row but i've i've inserted a beaver builder short code in there which is displaying this save template over here now on this one it's 50 50 so in terms of bootstrap we know that that is the same as a uh, six span and a six span using md so that's really what's going on here so we could change this and easily make this as an eight and a four and give it a bit more space over here to show something but i'll cover this in another video because i also want to for those people who might be used to genesis and moving over to the beaver builder theme they might be used to using widget areas where we would have a header right section so i'm also going to create that in another video but hopefully that gives you a good start and a basic understanding of the bootstrap grid system. I hope that's been useful to someone and I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks very much and goodbye.